A participant on the Methods and Materials course can expect to learn about the development of English language teaching from the end of the 19th century, let's say over the last 150 years or so, when the reform movement was taking over from the grammar translation which dominated up to that point and the methods which came after it like the direct or natural methods and then moving into the 20th century the influence of uh, psychology on uh, approaches to language learning and language teaching for example uh, behavior psychology uh, associationism had a clear impact on the development of audiolingualism and the uh, use of mimicry and repetition and memorization in the classroom. But then with the advent of Chomsky and other thinking about how the brain works and processes language, we will look at the changes that led to the communicative era of language teaching in the late 60s and early 70s. And after that, what some people have described as the post-method era, when teachers were generally picking and choosing from different methods in order to suit the class that they had and the particular situation, the local reality that determines the conditions under which all teaching has to take place. Uh, allied to that, we'll be looking at the kinds of materials, course book materials, supplementary materials, that appeared to be appropriate for each of these different methods and under, trying to understand how they meet the principles outlined in the method and then from there looking at the particular techniques that the teacher would use in the classroom. So that's what a learner, a uh, course participant should I say, could expect from uh, enrolling on this course. <laughs>